Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Good old burp. Sorry, everybody. So uh, let's go with the, the Celestial Being Space Nerds route. And this is going to be the one we keep because there is a secret that you can only get if you do this route. So here we are. They're talking about how they've had uh, trouble um, tracking the Trinities, but Sumerag has got a plan. Um, though we're always a step behind, she's uh, seeing a pattern to their attacks, uh, suggesting that someone's hand is behind it. So we have a chance to track them, but this means, like, it might mean there's a traitor in Celestial Beings' midst. In Rome, Ranker's depressed. Um, she doesn't know where, uh, and she's with Ada. Uh, she doesn't know where Alto is, and she has no idea what she can uh, do for him as he fights humanity's enemies. And Ada is like, oh, boy trouble. I get it. And Ranker's like, but, but you're half right. But um, he's like, but hey, cheer up. Bird Human has made you a world famous star. And your first like real life performance is coming up in a couple of days. So rest and rebalance yourself. And uh, Ada says, if I'm not having fun, how do I make the audience have fun? And that's an idol's job. But, uh, Ada is having uh, the same issues as Ranka. She's love struck and she can't let anybody know. But she's got a date with the man. And. <laughs> My queen. And, uh. Oh, look, it's, uh. It's Johnny. So, uh. So, uh. He explains that he's doing some non-specific business for the UN, uh, along with one of their pilots. And uh, he brought Alto with him. And uh, it was uh, he's like, Johnny, why did you ring me? And he's like, it was Ada's idea to set you up. Like, wait, what? Buh? Duh? And Ranka's like, Ada? And she's like, ho <laughs> ho, Ranka. I've been uh, looking into you, and uh, i planned this ever since I found out who you liked. And uh, Johnny and Alto know each other, so... But Alto is not in the mood for a goddamn... Daburu Deito. He's not in the mood for a double date. Um, but that's okay. Doesn't have to be a double date, it can be a... Shingle date. Two single dates, nowhere near each other. So, I'm gonna go with Ada, and you two can do whatever the fuck you wanna do. See ya. So, Ranka just starts apologising over and over again, but Alto's like, uh, what are you apologising for? It's nothing to do with you. But he got to see Bird Human, and it says, her acting needs work, but her expression was lovely. And uh, now she's debuting with the movie's theme song, right? And he's like, oh, I'm starting with a, a different song. And there's this guy, Asaburo Satome, Alto's brother. Completely unrelated to the Professor Saratomes. Um and Alto's not that pleased to see him. Uh, he's still with the Kabuki clan that Alto uh, ditched after falling out with their dad, and he compliments Alto on his moves in the movie, stunt work or otherwise, and he mentions Alto's career as a pilot. And uh, Alto says uh, it's his decision, and then his brother gets serious and says, "You're a liar." Because there's a reason he brought up the movie. He could tell that Alto's not done with theatre, and he's playing a role even now. The role of a boy who went off to pilot to spite his dad. But Alto's got the blood of an actor, like a curse. And uh, Yasaburo, in whose veins it runs weaker, can't stand to see him waste his talent. And then he does his little smirk again, and he says that uh, Master Ranzo, their dad, uh, isn't looking great lately. So, Alto, you should probably give him a visit sometime soon. Yeah? Yeah? And he's like, anyway, bye. And he leaves, and Alto is mad as fuck. God, dang it! And then uh, Michelle calls him up, 
and he's like, yo, you're on bodyguard duty, buddy. And then Alto says, get Togro or Shin to do it. And Michelle's like, now, now, you'll change your tune when you learn who the client is. It's Cheryl. Buh! Alto kun is Cheryl's bodyguard? <laughs> yeah, hey, bro, our dad's fucking dying. He's old as hell. So Alto wants to know why, uh... Alto, why Cheryl picked him specifically, and she was thinking that um, he might uh, cheer up if he got to have a nice, uh, peaceful fly. And uh, he can deny it, but she knows that he's not over what happened at the party, and she wants to remind him that the same thing would happen to other people if he died. And she says, you don't want to make Ranka sad, do you? But, but, but Cheryl has faith in a lucky charm, her earring that's also uh, radio. Um... We'll see him through, and it does make Alto feel better. And then Cheryl does a wince. It's like you're right. It's like no, no, it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. But uh, he says, if anything, I expect uh, you to take good care of me. Good escort um, for the upcoming UN concert. Uh, the concert is uh, news of the day for everybody on board the, the Frontier and it's being held at a base uh, which broke off from the Frontier to um, join in the World Fair and it belongs to the Marines 33rd, a Zentradi regiment. Uh, clan uh, knows them. Uh, it's where uh, she and her team joined the humans at the beginning of uh, the first interstellar war. Uh, the 33rd was among those who held out and were taken in after the conflict. And the two extremes have been at odds since and she can't speak much for them as soldiers either. And she uh, even calls them uh, a shame on the Zentradi. And it's like, what are they doing helping the Earth government? And why did Earth even accept their help? And Kathy says she'll do some digging because she's curious too. And there's still the matter of what appeared to be fold tech. And the Liminitia quake. But while they're here, uh, Kathy asks Ozma if he's seen the movie yet. And Ozma is like, no way, I'm never going to watch it. I refuse to ever see that movie. And uh, Crow and Locke are like, I think he just doesn't want to see the kiss. <laughs> kissing, yeah. Doesn't want to see the kissing scene. And uh, Sirius and the wits know exactly how he uh, feels. And Pierre sees a chance to go uh, for Kathy and see if uh, she'll smooch him while Osma's thinking about his sister. But then they talk about Osma and Kathy, and Luca points out that despite being suspiciously close, they don't date or spend time together or anything. And uh, Crow is like, oh, I thought they were separated at birth. And uh, Kay's like, nah, former lovers. Um, but what about Alto? <laughs> Hobby. Uh, yeah, Bobby, what's, uh, yeah, uh, Bobby, what's your opinion? What about Alto? Who's he going to pick, Cheryl or Anka? It's like, well, Cheryl actually engages him, though. And she's like, she's got a hold of him right now. And Frontier's are poaching the base. But here, she, um, Athena's asking about Bobby because I guess there's no gay people in the world she comes from, so she doesn't, like, get him. And he's like, I'm a big queen. I'm a big old softy me. He's like, I don't get it. You're a queen, but you're... I mean, look at you. But yeah, who, who's he gonna pick? Well, Cheryl actually, like, engages him. And, I mean, she's got him right now. So we're heading to the base, and uh, here's uh, Major Ogatai, who is uh, Zentradi. And he is, and uh, he's commanding officer of the 33rd, and he's hoping that uh, Cheryl's arrival will get his troops to settle down. Their Zentradi blood is boiling with the Imperium on the march, and they're anxious to get an earful of proto-culture and listen to a goddamn song. Calm the fuck down. So Cheryl steps out and this Zentradi shows like hell yeah, Zentradi shows like hell yeah, it's Cheryl, hell yeah, and this dude is like whatever, I don't give a fuck. And then uh, Cheryl's headache strikes again, and he's like, see, she's refusing to perform for any Zentradi. Awful, disgusting, discrimination. And then Ogatai is like, no, it's not like that. Right? Like she's just. Like, maybe she's just got a headache. And then this dude, Temzin, is like, Nope, nope, she doesn't want to, nope, nope, she doesn't want to do it, nope. 
Nope, nope. She's awful. Come with me, man. Let's get her and force her to sing or whatever. They're our prisoners now. And there you go, come. Because they're fucking 60 feet tall. So they can do whatever they like to tiny people. And those guys are demanding uh, ships from the Frontier Fleet. And it's obvious that this coup was planned and it's almost like they had insider info to set it all up. But we can't worry about that now. The important thing is saving Alto, Cheryl and the Tex. And now that Zen the Zentradi are mobilized, the base is virtually impregnable because it turns out they're actually really good at fighting. Even if Clan thinks they're not. Because even, even the worst Zentradi is a million times better than the regular human. Ranku comes in, and she thinks there's a way in. Uh, Ozma doesn't like it, but he's the one that taught her to live without regrets, and she knows she's going to regret it if she can't go to Alto, so she's got to at least try. Meanwhile, at the base. Alto is uh, pretty mad at Cheryl, because she's been pushing herself uh, too hard. And Cheryl's like, I got no excuse. But all I, have, uh, all I have is to sing the way that all you have is to fly. And Alto's like, yeah, shit, I gotta fly. Fuck. And he's like, Grace, I'm going. You look after Cheryl. I could go fly a fucking plane. This is Snow 34 Memorial Debut. Ogatai asks uh, Temjin if he thinks uh, they can really strike out into space alone. He's like, that's a stupid idea! I, but there happens to be a lovely little home where they can stake their Zentran thirst, right here! Uh, the Zentradi ruled the universe for the Mike Clones game, which is what they call humans, and um, they can do it again! And all the other Zentradi are like, oh yeah, he's right, fuck him. Tran, 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 Producer. Yeah, and the producer who arranged this for him, he just let him know that a rat has escaped the trap. But, Alto's made it to his plane just in time, and Temjin's like, hell yeah, let's go, let's give him a chase. Time, time for a hunt, let's go. Hunt him down, man. And Alto's like, sure, I'll fucking play along, let's go. Okay, and the SR point is uh, defeat all enemies within six player turns, sure. I'm not gonna die here, I haven't flown my fill yet. God damn, Zentradi blood! This is making the my blood boil. I'll show you how we fight. Yeah, like the the Valkyrie little shoot out the feet, dodge back. I like it a lot. 
Oh, and then he's fucking shot. So he's got the big prevail. Gun that man now. I'm a blazing inferno. So, that's what I'll tell you doing it, buddy. Ned died as he lived. 60 feet tall and mad as hell. Unfortunately, this was just the opening act. So, Temjin has arrived, personally, to make it more interesting, with the rest of the 33rd. And uh, he's like, maybe you want to sing me a song? Might actually stop us. <laughs> Incoming though is Michelle. Alto. Everybody, listen. Hold me to the edge of the galaxy. Yeah, and Michelle drops Ranker off, and she's singing at that woman. She's singing a goddamn song. It's incredible. That's Ranker from the movie. Impossible. But she's singing a new song, Interstellar Flight. And these guys are like, oh my god, this is amazing. She's beautiful. And Elta's like, damn, Ranka, put yourself on the front lines. Unexpected uh, debut. Here she is. This is her debut! These guys like, incredible! We're seeing her for the first time! Um, fucking no. Just being Harry, because Harry's good. Bing. Uh, we'll bring. Oh, he's pretty fast, right? Ranker! Oh, my fucking god, look at this dude with the hearts in his eyes. <laughs> yep, screenshotting that shit. How oh, many? Where's that? Where's that? Ranka! <laughs> so, half of them just put down their guns and leave because they're having such a good time. And the Frontier crew are like, wow, I can't believe it worked. And Jeffrey's like, it's just like Lin Min Mei. And Sumo's like, what the? So I guess she's the second coming of Inmei, and Ozma is like, you know what, Ranka's pretty good, she's grown up, become a grown up lady, a real woman. And while it's calming the Zentradi down, it's making us all fired up. Everybody's loving this shit. Apollo, it's Ranka! Jin, he's like, I fucking love this bullshit, it's good! So, Jin's just fucking losing his shit. Let's see if he's got what Jin's actually fucking talking about because he's an idiot. Wow. 
Mentions what Jin's talking about, but he's really excited. And Jin is normally like, "There's only one woman for me, that one," because all others are weird and scary. But Dem Jin refuses to give up, so he's whipping his boys back into shape. But uh, he's got no qualms shooting anyone who dares turn their back on him, friend or foe. I'm a Zentran, Michelle. You cover Renka. Got it. So now they get a million turns for free. <laughs> the shot off all communication from the outside just starts shooting at Sit Randall. No, you can't! The Zentradi love this shit! Like, <laughs> see how much they love this shit. Zentradi fucking love Lady Gaga the most. How did you try and how far are we? We uh, This is stage uh, 34 out of 50, I believe, of the first half of Z2. <laughs> they are a race without cultures, obviously. Like, everybody likes this shit. The culture. The culture is the equivalent of shit. Fuck. When something goes wrong, you yell the culture. Or when something's really good, you go the culture. You gotta remember that, like, <laughs> yeah, this side of stuff. Yeah, but we need, definitely we need them fire bombers. Love them nerds. Yeah, you know what? Harry can handle it. Harry, unused to having his music overridden, because he's Ratzel. <laughs> I love Rankoli! Yat! Yat the culture! Matt Cross is fucking good. Gorgeous, delicious, de culture. Nyan, 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 ni hao, nyan. Gorgeous, delicious, de culture. <laughs> Where's this with some lovely llama? Please. We'll get to that in the third game. <laughs> when they do their fucking bullshit. It's so good. Okay, yeah, now they get to go again because uh, her ace bonus is when Aggressive Beast activates, which is 130. Um, they get Zeal, which gives you a whole new turn no matter what. Then they get a God that we with a 140. Yeah, I hope to stream it. They want to have pre ordered it. The PlayStation 4 is going to be ready to download it right away. It's Camille, it's Lauren. Oh, here's our. Not bad. Kind of sugary, but it works for me. We don't get shows like this that often, so let's dance. <laughs> and then Macross, that will happen. I 
Captain! I'm dead! Top top bar, big fucker! Oh, now we get charged, so now all of the moves will be post movement. And then all of these idiots learn yell, so you can get her up to being rowdy. ASAP. God dobbies the mold. It's everybody's power. First, yeah, man, lift it up. Why are they naked in the robot? Listen, they are going beyond being human, they are going uh, beyond the beast, they are going beyond God. So, all the See if your clothes disappear. <laughs> and that dude with his heart to his eyes is like, this is real good. <laughs> There's nothing I like more than getting eviscerated by a giant amalgamation of beasts while a pop idol sings a song to me. No, they don't eat them, they just fuck them up. Kyrgios. Slaughtering the enemy. Right in the fucking dick, too. Every time. Always with the dick. Dan Kuga versus Dan Kuga Nova, which do I prefer? I, like, I think definitely original Dan Kuga, 100%. The original Dan Cougar has Sarah in, and I will always be enamoured in a bullshit face. Combuster vs. Zero Nightmare. Well, Combuster every time because I have no taste. And that dude who I can't move will do anything with. Okay, fucking Togo, what are you gonna say about this? A man who is a huge idiot. I really like this song! Wow, it's hard to get that out of you. Yeah, but this song's making me happy. Battle Dog is actually smiling? Yeah, this is some song. <laughs> Zentran! 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 Fucking loving this shit. Yeah, you defend the big boy. You watch neither, do you have bad taste? No, it just means that you're unlucky. Punch! She's in that! Oh, by the way, you just shot off. Captain! Stop it. We'll stop it. Boing. <laughs> I love her. 
Oh yeah, now they're going to start supporting each other. <laughs> it's Kira. What's this sparkle? Yeah, like he's saying, what's this sparkle? <laughs> Talking about the um, sparklies from his GN drive. Because Kira, Kira Kira is the Japanese on the player for sparkling. Which is why Kira Yamato is Sparkle Japan, man. Love that dude. Actually, I don't. I hate him a lot. Leave the Aluya alone. Yeah, fight this boy. This is Ranka's song. Ranka, you found your own path. Then I'll protect you. I'll take on anyone who tries to stop you from singing. Kind of a girly song, but just listening to it's getting me pumped. All right, hold me to the edge of the galaxy. Kira Winkle, uh, Apollo. He did that thing that she does where she winks and does the cling. That's Apollo for you. <laughs> Enjoy idle music on the moon, fuck boy. garbage on the moon, people will live there. Do they? Do they? I think they do in this universe. <laughs> there is, uh, Loren. This song. It's making me feel strange. I know what this is. It feels like when I called out from vicinity mine to my friends on the moon. I can feel my heart reaching out. It feels... It feels wonderful. <laughs> it's really hard to die past the music. It's, yeah, fucked up, right? Valve have tried, like, their weird system where it's like... Each button is a different section of letters that you pick, but... No, it's like in this universe. I don't think anybody lives on the moon. We got two moons, but I don't think anybody lives on any either of them. Carved a love note. Who did it? Renton. Renton carved a love note. Love note. He carved that. Renton plus Eureka on the moon. So here's uh, Camille. I understand if it was the first time the Zentradi encountered culture, but they can still be moved by this song after living with humans this long. Is there something supernatural about her song? No, that's not the point, is it? Where's the Croaster? It's Kira. Nobody fucking cares about his opinion on anything. 
hey, it's entire any combat data. That'll go for a solid price. Oh, actually, I might get more footage for Ranker's live debut. <laughs> Bug and crow. Uh, if we had Shin, he'd like, how can you fight with this music around you? Do you want to fight that much? Fine, I'm happy to oblige. Um, if we had Kiri, he'd be like, this is nice. I wish everyone were here to hear it. And then internally, Lakers, this is just how I felt when you sang at all. Someday, I hope you sing a song of peace again. It's like, you're alright, just, just fucking go away. So, uh, K is up the top. Hey, this isn't a bad tune. Alright, you big bullies. There's a lot more to life than war. Try it sometime. Ah, uh, dude, that's a bit racist. Uh, if uh, Garrod was here, you're standing witness to the birth of a star, and all you can think about is shooting, guys? Don't think that's lame? You don't get to hear a performance like this every day. Oh my fucking god. Okay. I think... I think Setsuna might be... the most wonderful boy. A great power! Great enough to change the world! Is this song... Gundam? <laughs> oh, that dude! I love you, Renka. <laughs> you move me. Give up. You've already lost. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You can't give me orders. Culture. Music. Fuck it. Zentradi live to fight. It's in our blood. The blood of an actor. Like a curse. He can't escape his lineage either. That's what we were made for. We can't live any other way. Blood of an actor. I don't have to let that control me. Like, that dude says something and then I'll tell you, just like, okay, I'm dealing with my own issues now. And that dude's like, hey, I'm, I'm the boss of the stage now, guy. <laughs> Pay attention to me. Actually, you stay in big boy mode. And by big boy mode, I mean big plane mode. I think that's everybody, right? Yeah, that's everybody. So he's not talking about GN drives, he's doing, he's talking about her uh, winkle, the sparkle wink. I misled you, I'm sorry. Is that all nerds defeated except the big boy? Yeah, it's all nerds about that boy.
That's a nice transformation sequence. Lowest level. Kind of, I ain't sure. Ugh. Ugh. Carl, give me the. Ugh, alright. Tierra, give me the good looking. This is the end. That's how a Zentron fight. They got me. Then we get an IC. So like, I prefer the item we got on the super route, but this will have to do, I guess. So Tim's just like, Wah! it's like you idiot, and he's like, no, there's not enough. Uh, yeah, this universe isn't big enough for two races. And then he explodes without ejecting, because he's a fucking idiot. But all Zentron Force is down. So, Alto flies over to Ranker and uh, he yells at her for doing something stupid. But then she's like, I just wanted to make sure you heard my song. Like, especially you. He's like, Boo, yeah. And like, Ranker. And then here's the show, he's like, so, uh, why don't you think about why she, why, uh, yeah, why don't you think about why she'd do that? Ranker, thanks. Well, you're always there to save me. You saved me this time. Thanks a lot, Ranker. Fantastic show, Ranker. Cheryl, are you feeling alright? You think I can sleep through a song like that? And Grace is like, oh, jeez. Didn't go according to script, but oh well. Suddenly, everyone is getting shot, and it sucks. And it's the Trinities. And the, the red Dankuga. So Sumeragi says that the Zentron have surrendered and they're shooting them all, and then these guys are like, we don't care actually. And they're like, we even were told about this was going to happen by our new friend, the producer. We're getting sick of being bossed around by a celestial being anyway. Because then, uh, especially because you don't answer to anybody anyway. And then, then uh, goes up to Ranker and he's mad as hell, and he's like, you've been pissing me off. But, the Ardigon steps in. The Ardigon went to protect Ranker? What the hell are you doing? Ugh. Run, Ranker. It's... That pilot? But... More incoming. Oh, you good bugs. So here's Tifa's first uh, encounter with the bugs, and uh, something with them uh, pings a uh, new typeness. And she says, they're all as one? And then the Trinity is like, oh, well, whatever, fuck it, bugs, see ya. And then he's like, stupid, red idiot, shithead. And then the Ardigan uh, leaves. And I, it's us to handle the bugs, the Vajra. And uh, these lots seem even stronger than the last. Osmer orders Alto and Michelle to defend Ranker and Cheryl, and uh, 
they got a uh, co-pilot seat, and each of them can hold one. So, Alto gets to pick, and uh, he's using Cheryl. Because that's who he would pick. So he's picking uh, Cheryl, and Michelle gets Ranker. Yeah, and that is step one of a secret. And then at the start of a later stage, we get to pick whether Alto asks Ranker or Cheryl to sing, and if you choose the same one, then he gets an upgrade. I pick the like of a light over and you can pick the obnoxious one. Uh, Cheryl's the one he has romantic feelings for. Whereas the other one, he just doesn't want her to sink into depression if you told her that he doesn't feel about her that way. Oh, it's okay, Harry's a good boy. You can kill every big bug. Every time he watches that fucking mate. They're all learning moves. Find my way back to you, Mimsy. Alright, bad guy. Get missiled on. I was going to say, yeah, Kay's not quite going to manage that kill with the damage reduction on the support attack. I have not seen any of the 3DS games, I do not got the capability. And as far as I know, nobody's translated any of the stories for him, so no idea what's going on either. Okay. 
yeah, fucking double murder that dude from miles away. Get out of my way! This is the power of Aquarian. Piss off. Another dead bug on the moon. Okay, so now there's only like one in a half red bug left. And I'm not moving her because they'll just attack her and delay the good times. Another one bites the meat dust. Got it. Nailed it. The ones that got this one. Why are you using your power to fight? Then can I on the job? Tiara murdering everything with this giant fat suit. I gotta leave some stuff for uh, Alto to get because we still need that conversation with the Cheryl star. Another good spell. We all got Bob to buy something, but he's a powerful boy. Okay, he's not that powerful. Take it easy, Cheryl. Close your eyes if you're scared. Honestly. Just who do you think I am? Sh Cheryl? You've got time to worry about me. Go hunt down all these creatures. Yes, ma'am. It's just what I want to hear from Cheryl Nome, Galactic Fairy.